Hey everyone, this is Wayward Nine One One and uh, PS3 screen again. <laughs> um, so what are we doing here? You may ask. Well, I'm. This is gonna be more. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, uh, my new Let's Play of Let's Play one of the games of the Sly Collection. Which one, you may ask? Well, obviously, I haven't done one or. Well, I haven't done any of them. So I'm gonna have to start off with the original Sly Cooper. Now, for ev now for everyone who is a platinum whore like I am, this is gonna be a platinum trophy guide. Yeah, I started up a new username, new user on my PS3, just to show you how easy it is to get a platinum in Sly Cooper for the PS3. This is a good reason to invest in the Sly Collection, even if you already have the games on the PS2. To see, watch this. Okay, start up Sly Cooper. Alright. Come on, load. Load. There we go. 2002, developed by Sucker Punch Entertainment. A Sucker Punch production. Yay, Sucker Punch! More Sucker Punch! Alright, wait for it. There we go! <laughs> Gotta love how they give you that trophy for starting up the game! This is just further proving how easy it is to, to get the, this frickin' Platinum. All right, let's do this. Sly, come in. Sly, do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. All right, so welcome to Sly Cooper. Anyway, we'll just collect this coin, and that should give us, um, wait for it. There we go. Alright, more. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Alright, now before I forget, options, uh, I can't change it. Dang it. Um, oh, I could... Uh, what's defined as normal game? Can't really test that, so... Yeah, I was because I was hoping to make the screen a bit less, you know, closed in. Because as you can see from the video... Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention you'll be fried to a crisp. So, yeah. Um, as you can see from the video, Sly and Bentley's faces nice were being job, cut off. Shut up, Bentley. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. Uh, yeah, so he... I can't talk about this right now. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, the video, the faces were cut off, but there's nothing I can do about that. Way to go, Sly. This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police. <laughs> I know the code. Troll la 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 la. Nice job. You got it. So yeah, in that part. And you come down through the fire escape and hit 
it through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. So yeah, in that part, th there's a set code, it's 937. So since I already know it, I can just put it in myself. Anyway, let's get out of here. Criminal! Oh crap. You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ha, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Alright, so introducing Carmelita Fox. She is our police officer of the day. So what you need to do here is just run and she'll never hit you. Just don't be too careless. Because they didn't program her, her AI to be a total idiot. So just get in the van. And you're safe. You can't escape me, raccoon! Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. So there's just some backstory for you. Sly is a part of a master criminal, well, master thief clan. So, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's our intro level, and it's pretty easy. Just make sure you're not you're not derping too much, and you should be fine. Anyway, what's up, Bentley? That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters. That was a that was a that was a nice piece of work back there. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters. Sly, come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Oh God, what the hell was that? Oh my god. I've already plotted a route to our first target. Alright, but where's Murray? Um, um, oh, here you are. Oh, you want? One? You want 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 one? Oh god, not a yeah, let's just I've go. Already plotted a route to our first target. All right, let's just start the first mission.
The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. Gotta love this TV-esque title, title cards. But anyway, a stealthy approach. Let's do this. Oh, we already got a trophy. Would you look at that? Anyway. Let's just head on over here and Bentley. Hey, Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Huh. Uh, so I like Sucker Punch's humor. All right, Ed. Will do, Bentley. But for now, I'm just gonna go away from that guy. Because Sly... Well, the thing about Sly is that he can't take hits for... for... for crap. So, yeah. I mean, go figure, this is a stealth game. They give you a reason you're gonna want to be stealthy. But anyway, you may... you could jump... just jump down from here. But I'm not gonna do that. Instead... I'm gonna go over here after destroying this sign for coins. Alright, we can just collect this bottle. Collect this other bottle. Yeah, these bottles will be important later. So just hey, Sly? Sly, no, you're going the wrong way. Okay. So yeah, make sure you're collecting all the bottles you can find. And overall, if... Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. All right. As I was saying... You should be fine as long as you just... Oh yeah, the way you disable this... Remember in the intro stage when I destroyed the alarm and all the lasers disappeared? You want to do the same thing, except with this. Alright, so now we need to deal with this bouncer dude, I guess. So just jump over all his projectiles and hit him. It's not that hard. I mean, seriously, he's just a minor boss. But anyway, here's our first checkpoint. According to my amphibial positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. 
All right, well, this is gonna be pretty hard to do, to commentate on, because Bentley pretty much explains everything. So, yeah. He's explaining all the controls, he's explaining everything we need to find out. He's basically spoon-feeding us. Mega Man, Mega Man! <laughs> yeah, that's Bentley. Which is why, among my friends, he's earned a rel relatively annoying reputation. So, yeah. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Yeah, stop it, Bentley. This is why you had the reputation between me, uh, me Abu Kay, and Cool Dog. Because you're annoying in this game. Oh crap. Nope! Okay. Keep in mind, Sly goes down in one hit. As I've stated before. Ooh, bo oh boy, coin recycler. That's the 60 coin trophy. So yeah, you're gonna wanna collect coins and just be on your way. Anyway, on to business. That was easy enough, wouldn't you say? Alright, well, let's just go here, destroy this alarm. And let's go collect our coins while we're at it. Because why not? We need the... We want the coins in order to get our trophy that much faster. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. So yeah, those are just the vaults. That's why you need the b bottles. But we don't have the all the bottles yet. So what we need to do is climb up to these lookout towers and collect them ourselves. Because if this would zoom in... Um... 19? 20! You found it, Sly! That's the final clue to crack the code! Now find out both and I'll give you the instructions to open it! Alright. So, we just got another trophy for that. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I love that. He just says press the circle, not press the circle button. <laughs> the clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. 792. And there we go. Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. Alright. So here's our special attacks we get by opening these vaults. So this is our first one, the dive move. Pretty useful, I must say. But anyway, let's collect our key. Okay, why did they put a key right in front of the door? Whatever. That's our first mission. So we can use this key to unlock the door and proceed into the hub world. Yeah, this game has hub this game has five hub worlds to access. That's fun. All right, let's just make our way toward this ship. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. 
interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. <laughs> cheesy comedy is cheesy, but it's funny nonetheless. So anyway, ooh look a horseshoe. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. Alright, so this is basically our health system. So Sly can collect these lucky charms, horseshoes, whatever, omegas, and that'll act as his health, so when he gets hit, you you'll or fall down any pits or water, you'll just lose you'll just lose the lucky charm. So that's neato. Okay then. <laughs> so that was just Sir Raleigh. I don't know why he's Sir. What makes him a knight? I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna end this episode off here. So, this has been Where Would Win 911. If you like this episode of Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thedius Raccoonus, but who the hell cares about that subtitle? Rate, comment, subscribe. See you later, thanks for watching, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.